Hey, what's going on, Shrimp Keepers? It is Saturday, which means a uh, Shrimp Saturday. Uh, I'm out of town. I'm in Columbus right now, the cafe. Uh, they put me up, and it's an awesome fish club, and we've got to see some amazing fish rooms. I'm going to be showing those soon. Right now, I'm at Tony's house, and I'll just kind of give you a preview. I mean, this guy's got some amazing fish tanks. Um, he built all the stands himself. I mean, it's just unbelievable what he's done, and every tank looks prestige. And it's just, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. So here, I'm going to give you a quick preview, and then we're going to get into Shrimp Saturday. So just look at this. I mean, it's unbelievable. These are his shrimp tanks. He's just getting ready to set, set those up, and they've been set up in the past, but he's had some, he's had some difficulties over the years, and uh, that's what we really want to focus in on. And so, um, so let's, uh, first of all, let's introduce Tony. Tony, real quick, uh, just say a little bit about yourself. How long have you been in the hobby? At least 10 years, probably closer to 12. Closer to 12? Yeah. Gotcha. Least, uh, this is what happens when you have an empty room and you put one fish tank in it. Yeah, you get one fish tank in that. So th is this the fish tank that started this, it all? This is the one that started it. We had this big empty room and uh, just yeah. needed a big tank in it. Gotcha. Now, uh, now we'll do the we'll do a fish room tour in a little bit. But one thing I want to do focus in on is you um you said you start off with shrimp. Now, were Crystal Reds your first shrimp ever? Or did yes, you? Yes, they were. Okay, so you got shrimp or crystal red shrimp from a, a guy in town, Brian's Tropicals, I believe. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, you put them down here in this tank. So um, I actually I used this picture of his old colony as a um, as the the icon for the video. And as you can see, there's still a nice crystal down in here, a couple of them. I mean, they're beautiful. But um, but Tony, why don't you just tell us? Like uh, you used to have a ton in there, as we can see from the picture um, in the like the icon of the video but what ended up happening like can you just kind of walk us through that a little bit yeah well we don't have to say any names but we could just kind of just do a brief overview of it well as you can see in the picture i had a really nice colony you had a ton of shrimp in there yes. and I, I wanted to step it up and get some higher grade shrimp so yeah. i'm starting to look at all these imports from asia and stuff so i bought some yeah i think i would uh add them to my colony and Start yes, to increase the quality of the shrimp, yeah. yeah. Well, that was a big mistake. Yeah. I should have started them in another tank. And, uh, uh, you just saw the results. Yeah. Uh, the shrimp that I had started dying uh, four or five at a time. And that went on for a couple of months until it got down to just a handful. Gotcha. Yeah, and that's... Oh. I've been struggling with it ever since. Cause you you had a colony of probably close to a hundred. I mean, from the picture, it really yeah, looks like. Yes. You, and, and you said was after I thinned it out. Yeah, and you used to feed them to your fish. That's how many you had. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's crazy. Crystal red shrimp. And I don't recommend feeding them to your fish though, never. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's a. Uh, I mean, it's just crazy. And so that's where I kind of want to take a quick shrimp Saturday for that. And I'm sorry that I'm not doing any kind of special or anything like that, but. Um, just talking with Tony and really thinking about it, I mean, it kind of brings together a big point. Like, when you, like, it's easy to start with a colony. And uh, when you want to increase the quality, like with crystal reds, because they do grading based on how much white they have, how much red they have. And so you easily, like, if you got a lower grade crystal red, more or less, it's easy to want to add more shrimp to it to increase the quality. But what ends up happening is you run the risk of, of crashing a colony. You run the risk of getting new bacteria in there, new shrimp. And as you can see, the, the shrimp that he added to increase the colony still lived, but his thriving colony perished from that. So I know in my fish room is I, I always keep colonies separate where whatever source I get them from, I keep them. I breed them for two or three generations before I decide to start mixing them. And I mix them in a tank that is not the original colony for that reason. So on this shrimp Saturday, I know Tony can tell you and I can tell you that once you start in a colony, keep that colony going don't mix shrimp into the existing colony start a new tank and mix shrimp into that colony so that's my big uh shrimp saturday advice to you so that's what i gotta say and tony i'm gonna get you back in camera but tony thank you so much for showing us um uh just a little bit of your fish room and we're gonna do a longer video on this but um if there's any piece of advice you could give as far as doing this what would you recommend as far as uh getting shrimp or having shrimp or any kind of little piece of advice you could offer for everyone uh, read as much as you can and listen to the people who have the experience. That's great advice. So, Tony, thank you. Uh, Shrimp Keepers, thank you guys. Uh, stay tuned and we'll get some more videos out to you. You guys make it a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Later.